Yes, you definitely need an electric toothbrush in 2025. Here is how to tell which one is right for you. It's no secret that electric toothbrushes are so much better than a manual toothbrush at getting rid of plaque and fighting tooth decay. And that's the tooth, according to reams of peer-reviewed research on the topic. For example, one study, we'll link down below, shows an 11% increase in plaque reduction over three months of use when compared to an old-fashioned manual toothbrush. Manual disposable toothbrushes just cannot compare when it comes to performance, and you end up throwing them away as soon as they start fraying creating tons of excess landfill waste. While you don't get the e-waste associated with electronics, some toothbrush brands are tackling this with replaceable manual brushes and replaceable brush heads and electric handles that are meant to be taken apart and repaired. I've tested quite a few electric toothbrushes as TechRadar's resident user of health gadgets. And here's the criteria I use to determine what I personally am gonna to use to clean my teeth in the next couple of years. Let's dive in and find out. Let's look at affordability. Generally speaking, you can get a simple one setting sonic toothbrush for around $30 in the US or £25 in the UK. But that's just the starting point. And this Ultimate Supermouth toothbrush costs $99 in the US or around £80 in the UK. And it comes with a charging base and multiple different brush heads. You can get a Philips Sonicare 7000 series toothbrushes for around $200 or 175 quid if you can find it on sale. For that, you get a travel case that also charges the handset, a more premium feeling brush handle that's less plastic toy and more metal lightsaber, AI guidance via an app, and a larger selection of modes and intensities, 12 in total. You don't need the most expensive brushes ever made, and I certainly don't use an app to clean my teeth other than to actually test the kit. Unless you want a specific feature like the charging travel case, go for the middle of the road and you can't go far wrong. I get up earlier than my partner and sometimes I have to be quiet and I need a toothbrush to suit my needs. This Philips brush records around 53 decibels when cleaning teeth, equivalent to a moderate conversation versus the quieter Ultimate or Curaprox toothbrushes, which record around 45 decibels. Generally, the louder the brush, the more powerful the motor. If you live alone or noise isn't really a consideration, go for something to give you a really intense clean. Some toothbrushes advertise themselves as quiet, but unfortunately, there's no way of knowing exactly how loud something's going to be before you test it. Unless you read some of our reviews, of course. I don't have sensitive teeth, so I never use the sensitive modes on most electric toothbrushes. However, I do travel for work, so a charging travel case like the Philips, or at least a long battery life, comes in handy quite a bit. I would also like a toothbrush that can be taken apart and repaired like the Surrey Sustainable Sonic brush, with brush heads that can be recycled. Picking and choosing the features you're looking for out of a toothbrush allows you to find the perfect one for you, and gives you an indication of how much money you'll probably need to spend to fulfill those needs. The bottom line? You don't need all the bells, whistles, and features on the most expensive toothbrushes, but the really cheap ones are simple plastic sonic devices which won't last that long. Finding which toothbrush is right for you is all about how much you're willing to spend, how quiet or powerful you need your brush to be, and which of those features really matter to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you're looking for an electric toothbrush, we'll pop all the links below, or you can check out our guide to the best electric toothbrushes at techradar.com. See you there.